The reduce method reduces an array to a single value. It executes a provided function for each value in the array and the returned value is stored in an accumulator. The function is not executed for array elements without values and it does not change the original array. Here's the basic syntax of reduce. First, we create a new variable. Then we reference the array and add dot reduce. The reduce method accepts two parameters. The first is a function. The function has access to the accumulator, current value, current index, and the entire original array. The second parameter after the function is an optional initial value for the accumulator. If the initial value is not included, the first element in the array will be used and skipped. Here is a very basic example. We have an array of numbers. Our goal is to add up all of the numbers. First, let's see how this can be accomplished with a for loop. We could create a variable called sum, setting the initial value to zero, then create a for loop that adds each number to the sum variable, ending up with an accumulated sum. This works fine, but there is a more elegant way of doing this using the reduce method. We can use the sum variable and assign it to the value of the array reduced. Within the reduce method, we have our accumulator, which I'll call total, and the current value, which I'll call value. Now we'll return the total plus the value. We can also set our initial value to zero. So now as it iterates through the array, it is adding all of the numbers to the accumulator and we end up with the total. We can further reduce the amount of code by getting rid of the curly braces, the return, and in this case we can leave out the initial value and it will use the first element in the array as the initial value and skip it. Now we have just one line of code. This has been a 90 second JavaScript January.